I want to ask some questions in relation to the issue for RTE to pay out a, a reported 85,000 at the time that I've le uh, left. I want to ask, was there one person in charge of this issue, one point of contact from the moment that they decided to deal with this issue until, until they paid out this compensation? And on what decision did they decide to pay out this compensation? It's quite clear, Count Corla, from the information I have received from various sources that, that, and including from the managing director in his own press release, where he says that the legal position was far from clear. Well, the question I have for RTE here today is, if the position was far from clear and they had various pieces of legal uh, advice given to them over a number of weeks, stating basically that they shouldn't pay to that they should pay, on what basis did they decide to pay this money out? Finally, Count Corley, because I know I'm over time, what I want to say is I know that the legal advice that RTE uh, uh, used uh, to, or sought to pay out this money is a privileged position and we are not uh, entitled to it. But I believe that there has to be a political way in the, in, the, in the interest of the national public to find out on what basis they paid this out. Because I certainly believe that RT were wrong to pay out this money um, on what was essentially an anti-gay prejudice issue that people were challenged on. Thank you, Count Corley. Thank you.